and here give us we have created this registration form like it there will be first name and last name and you can select this like uh, fun run 5k or half marathon or full marathon now also you can submit email and password and uh, select your age group and you can register it so we are going to the visual studio code and create a new file and select language and first I save the file yes I save the file and name it marathon app and first we are uh, going to default HTML code and fortunately the visual studio will automatically insert some code and next we will make it like it like this registration so at this case for making this registration uh, we will be keep each each on check and save it if we can check it Yes, it's this registration and we are open it on the Chrome. Yes, this registration and next our target is create a first name and last name. So we will for this we will try to uh, insert div element and also Level element. So, at this case, in we are insert a div element. And also, level element. We name it like first also insert as a first name next we are uh, make a attribute of input pack type and name it text also uh, make the id as first name attribute first name and also it should be record if the Editor are not insert their first name, they cannot submit the form. So, on this case, uh, we save it and check it for the difference. Yes, first name is created, and we have similarly created the second name. So, I am copied and paste it and all on only insert change the name like first we are treat it as last also first name is last name import a text also 
ID also uh, similar to last and name is last name. If we save it and check it for the difference, yes, yes, the first name and last name is cheated. Next, we are targeted another uh, H2 tag selected as, and so now we can get a P element. And name it select as yes it we if we save it and and yes select as is created and now our next target is there is three drop down menu or three option we will be created this three option So at this case we will be created like radio button and input type radio. We name it as race and ID we keep it as a farm run and we finish it by closing tag. Also we is as a label attribute and also we name it as farm run. We name it fun and five can it will be show at the beside the option and we if we save it for the difference you can check it yes and the two option will be treated so only need copy and paste And we only name the change the name. Yes. And name the change the name as the have. And also There is as a half marathon. And then next third, let's keep it as a full. And change the funnel to full. Keep it as full marathon. Yes. Next, if we save it, if we save it, we can check the 
what difference it made yes but we should make it uh, like this position like so like it we can keep it on this position not horizontally so we should use as d element on each uh, option Similar to we have created another development. Yes, we should align the position and created another development. and check what the difference it made yes and you can select it now we can get a email and password option and it should be also record so at this case we also insert another div element because div element help to align each other and the next level attribute and name it email finish it and also the final name is email and also as input type is email name it email keep id as email and we yes it is record and we finish it and on this case similar we only copy and paste for password on a change email as password Yes, and if we check it for the defines, we can watch. Yes, there is email and password option already created. Next, uh, our target is select S group, while there is a under race and different S group for convenience. So, if we create another div element and 
also create a label attribute and keep the name as select as group Also, this add select attribute and name it division and also keep the ID as uh, also division. And finish it. And there will be at four option like it there will be under 18 18 13 32 to 50 over 15 so we will be kit similar four option so we should add option attribute option value and keep it name as kids and actually kids are under 18 so we are keep it under 18 and similar to we only copy paste we will be created four option so in case of young we keep it as um, 18 to 30 and also adult we keep it 30 to 50 and for is or keep it seniors fifty plus so if we save it and check it what the difference yes there is a select S group and you can select according your need. Next, we will be created a register button and also we provide a D element and finish it and hit a button and name it register yes and if we save it we can check it what is the difference yes and I name it first at Ashik and last at Mahmud and set farmers and email if we are not provide email but ss and password and set and it is not run but if we create it as the email it does not occur because we are not provide the form element so in this case we should add the form element
so in this case after the base registration we are at form attribute on the on the below D button we keep finish the form element If we save it and check what the difference it made. Yes. It's not working. Yes. It's all working and I name it that and already session and if we are not provide all access random exit and this encoded uh, at the very top in the email. So it need email. So password and also select it. So if you register it, yes, there is it is working. And if you check it, there is my first name Ashik Ashne Mahamud and race on and email kbtx password and division here yes it's working thanks for keep watching it so see you